okay i was able to get rid of this uh, so i will now explain that how actually you should when you have this then how you should proceed now when you have uh, when you have uh, this question given then what you should see is that here the observer is given so you can see that this will be my front view okay this is come back again okay this is my front view so this will be my top view and this will be my side view now uh, what i prefer is or what method i uh, would like you to follow is that you should select any color say i'll select green and i will give this green to my top view right now what i will do is i will mark all the edges uh, that are visible to me from the top starting from here okay now this edge will be visible to me from the top this edge will be visible to me from the top this will be visible to me this will be visible again this will be visible visible this whole green section will be visible to me correct now next what is there is this section this point will also be visible to me here right and again this is visible this line is visible and what happens is that there will be a line which will be in extension which will not be visible to me till here correct this dotted line will uh, okay i'll just change the color so that it's what i am showing you is the line which will not be visible to me and you when you are drawing the this line which i have drawn from blue till this point is actually this line which is the, uh, this line which is there on that hand side which is not visible so this blue line will not be visible to me because it is behind the figure in isometric view but actually i have to draw this line on my paper so when i draw my uh, isometric view then only the green edges or say all this part will be visible so i have marked these as the part which is visible from me uh, from the top the better part is that if you color the whole thing up then what will happen is that uh, you will be able to judge that what kind of a figure does it actually make i'll do that for you i'll color the whole part up okay so this is something this is also visible to me from the top okay so this is my top view similarly what i'll do is uh, using a different ink i will mark my front view this will be visible on my front view this is visible on my front view this is also visible on my front view uh sorry this won't be visible on my front view this will be visible on my front view and this will be visible on my front view right so all these red part will be visible on my front view and now finally i'll take uh, another ink color and i'll show you that what will be visible on the side view this part will be visible on your side view as a rectangle
दिस अगेन रेक्टेंगल विल बी शोन ओके सो यू हैव अ क्लियर पिक्चर दैट दिस ग्रीन पार्ट विल बी समथिंग ऑफ एन हाफ ऑफ एच एंड अगेन ऑन द बॉटम ऑल्सो इट विल बी देयर and the red part will be a form of triangles there will be th four triangles of total and violet part will again carry of triangles now there is one very important thing that you should remember i am marking it with red now there are hidden surfaces which are the hidden surfaces see there will be a line which is like this which is actually hidden so this line will be shown here correct and the same thing is that this another line will be shown here because it is a hidden line which you will see in the next slide see as i told you there will be a uh, this is the top view this is the top view correct so where i can see my top view can you identify which is the top view you can see here see this is a square which is there a square uh, sorry a uh, half of h type thing and then again this line uh, the outer part which is there on the bottom which is shown here and then the next is uh, my this is my uh, say fr front view in front view as i said there will be four triangles one will be this one one will be this one okay i'll take blue okay so this is the triangle which is visible here and this is the triangle these are the three triangles which are visible here so this is the front view and finally when i move on to the side view then what i am seeing is i am seeing this part which is here i am seeing this part which is here and as i told you that there will be a dotted line there will be a dotted line here and there will be a dotted line here so which is visible here the dotted lines these are invisible surfaces which are there now these dotted lines that are there in blue these dotted lines which are there in blue actually this is a 45 degree line which is drawn this line uh, this line is a 45 degree line which is drawn now the thing uh, as we draw projectors all these points have to be projected so this point actually comes and lands or uh, here on this point so that is why i was saying that if i would have marked it as a then i know that this point is a now if i marked it uh, mark this point as b then i know that b exists here also and b exists here also now now I'll, another example i'll take is say this point uh say i'll take another uh, say this point this point is here as say e and this point is again here at e so i know uh the point on my top view where does it lie uh, on my uh front view and where does it lie on my side view so this is the solution of the problem that you are looking for the exact solution will be uh, uh when you uh, hide everything this is the exact uh, scene that you uh, get in your answer sheet let's move on to the uh, second question okay another example of this so we'll do the same thing again i will first take my colors as first i'll take red color and now i will uh, fill in these colors so, uh, which are visible from the c is my for my top view so first i will uh, mark my top view which is this i'll mark it by instead of marking the whole thing i'll mark it by dash so that it consumes less time right this is visible to me this is visible to me this will be visible to me now from the look of these two this i know ki this will be a uh, rectangle uh, this will be a rectangle 
this will be a rectangle and this also be, will be a rectangle now the this part will also be visible to me from the top view now it's not that the circle won't be visible the circle will also be visible but i have not marked it because so that you should know that this boundary is visible and it should be shown so this is what will be visible free to me from the top view now when we talk about the front view so this a is my front view now in front view this is there this rectangle will be seen this rectangle will be seen this rectangle will be seen and this part will be seen okay and this will also be visible there will be two holes which are there uh, total th uh, this one and this second okay now let's mark the side view side view this will be actually visible to me this will be the whole thing visible to me and there will be hidden lines why hidden lines i'll tell you mm, i'll take it with black okay now this section there is this section which i marked it with black is exactly behind this section right so this hidden lines will be seen to me stating that there is a structure here which is not visible to us okay now if you move on to the solution you will be able to see that what i was referring to now here what i'll do is i'll take in depth marking so that exact marking so that you understand that which is there first uh, let's start with the top view which is my top view on the left hand side can you recognize uh, this is say is this the top view is this the top view or is this the top view okay now you, through identify that what will be there in my top view is i should color my as i did my uh, in previous slide th this is i know this will be visible i know this will be visible i know this circle will be visible to me and this area will be visible to me so what i know is that first figure that i have to draw is my rectangle which is this so i have drawn a rectangle which is here i've drawn this rectangle done now the next thing is that i have these two rectangles here but my outer line is that this is a rectangle the whole big rectangle right so this whole thing covers this section okay now this pillars these pillars will be shown where this pillars will be shown as this and as this and the circle along with its dotted lines i uh, mean its center lines so the circle is there along with its center line and then oh, again another thing that is there is that i have this section now this section has its center line which is coming from here so these are the two center lines that are uh, that will i have to draw in my figure and this dotted line shows that this this point exists okay now let's uh, so this is what my top view looks like now let's come down to my let's come down to our front view okay now front view how i can draw is i can just extend these lines downwards to get my rectangle i know that this line will be there and this line will be there 
what height or what length will be this line will be this plus this plus this that will be the total of this line and now I will I know that this is my uh, border which will be visible to me at the front so this is my border which is visible to me from the front the bottom most border the topmost border will be watch which one the topmost border will be this one so this is my topmost border which is visible okay now these two pillars will be visible this will be visible to me as a rectangle and again this will be visible to me as a rectangle so this two rectangles here are visible to me and I know I have drawn this line so this is my second border from the top so this is my second border from the top oh sorry from the bottom okay now as we did from the top that these points were visible for the circle also these points will be visible so when I draw this I will have dotted lines here and dotted lines here and the center line passing right through these dotted lines which is shown by these dotted lines this is the circle which is visible from the top correct and of course this uh, this cylinder uh, so you know the cylinder this uh, curved uh, rectangle you can say is visible with here and its center line so this is my front view now when I, I want my side view then obviously my side view will be a very simple figure but it will have a lot many number of uh, lines which are not visible so I'll take uh, which color I'll take this color which I took so first I want to draw uh, see which will be my visible lines on my side view so these will be my visible lines on my side view so this is what I'll draw in my figure so this is, these are all my visible lines that will be visible from me uh, visible to me from the side so I have drawn these lines right 